hundreds of players across generations have pulled on the famous dark blue of Scotland. Thousands of fans have roared them on, no matter what. From heartbreaking to ground shaking, through triumphs and tribulation, so many have played their part. But only one can be crowned our greatest. Dalgleish again, and it's there! Kenny Dalgleish was born on the 4th of March 1951 in the east end of Glasgow. He grew up dreaming to be a footballer. With his father Bill guiding him, Kenny's journey to greatness began. There were ups and downs early on, West Ham and Liverpool said no, but Kenny didn't give up. He was driven by a love of the game. There was no interest in fortune or fame. In 1967, Kenny signed a professional contract with Celtic at the age of 16. Success soon followed in the park and before long, his country came calling. Kenny's Scotland debut arrived at Pataudry, coming off the bench in a Euro 1972 qualifier against Belgium, where Scotland won by a goal to nil. It took a year before he found the back of the net in a Scotland shirt though. It was in a 1974 World Cup qualifier. It was at Hamden and it was the first of many. A successful run in the qualifiers saw Scotland travel to the 1974 World Cup finals in West Germany, with Dalgleish starting in every match as we went undefeated in our group, but failed to progress. Kenny continued to fire for club and country in the years that followed. In the blue of Scotland, the free scoring forward put in memorable displays against England scoring in a 2-1 win at Hamden in 1976 before doing the very same a year later at Wembley in another 2-1 victory. That was the same year Kenny broke the British transfer record when he swapped Celtic Park for Anfield after scoring 167 goals in 322 games for the Glasgow club. That same year, Kenny recorded a personal best with the national team scoring seven goals in ten games. There's Kenny in there. Oh, what a goal! Oh, yes! Success followed him south of the border. Liverpool's marksman scored 31 goals in his debut campaign, including strikes on his league debut, home debut, and there was that winner in the European Cup final too. That summer, firmly established as one of the world's best and hailed a king, Kenny joined back up with the national team for the 1978 World Cup in Argentina. He scored his first World Cup goal in a famous 3-2 win over the Netherlands, but it was not enough for Scotland to progress from the group. Trophy after trophy, with individual accolades and countless memorable moments, Dalgleish continued to fire Liverpool to glory, with his country watching on with pride. Four years later, Kenny again played a key role in World Cup qualification for Scotland. His winning strike against Israel delivered crucial points on the road to the finals in Spain in 1982, and his second World Cup goal soon arrived in a 5-2 win over New Zealand. A year later, Kenny lifted the Ballon d'Or Silver Award, firmly cementing himself among the very best on the planet. Kenny continued to turn up for his nation time and time again, and two years later, he made history in dark blue. With Spain travelling to Hamden for a World Cup qualifier, Kenny scored his 30th international goal in a 3-1 win. Dalgleish making the angle for the shot. Dalgleish makes it 3-1. A goal-scoring record he shares with Dennis Law to this day. Off the pitch, Recognition arrived a year later, when Kenny was appointed a member of the Order of the British Empire in the 1985 New Year Honours for his services to football. His 15-year international career came to an end on the 12th of November 1986. That day he cemented his 102nd and final appearance for the national team, signing out with a 3-0 win and a long-standing appearance record. King Kenny's influence stretched well beyond the white lines of the football pitch. In 2003, Kenny's wife Marina was diagnosed with breast cancer. 
Marina was treated and recovered, and alongside Kenny, the two formed the Marina del Glacier Appeal to help raise money to treat cancer. In 2018, the boy from Glasgow was knighted for his services to football, charity, and the city of Liverpool. A proud day for him, his wife Marina, and their four children, Kelly, Paul, Lindsay, and Lauren. Most capped Scotsman in history, King Kenny. I, th I think he, he stands out there on his own. One of the greatest Scottish uh, football, oh, world football players. I know as a young kid, he was my hero. He was just the best player I've ever seen in my life. Hundreds of players across generations have pulled on the famous dark blue of Scotland. Thousands of fans have roared them on, no matter what. From heartbreaking to ground shaking, through triumphs and tribulation, so many have played their part. But only one can be crowned our greatest. Sir Kenny Dalgleish. <laughs>